already know. I wanna hold you in my arms and play you like a guitar. You gon' be my Tony Braxton, and I won't ever break your heart. You're my favorite sound. I wanna play you all around. I'm gently plucking on your strings. Cause that's my baby, yeah. That's my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. That's my baby, yeah. That's my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. Baby, with me, you will not be lonely. Don't you keep it as you my one and only. I'm gonna be your lover when you're home. Put it down, put it down on me, yeah. Nah. Bring it to my side, side and your body's such a vibe Wanna take, take it for a ride, ride. wanna give it a good time Wanna, wanna do things to you, baby, that I know you're gonna like yeah. Do that thing when you're hype for me, girl Do that thing when you're here for me, girl Do that thing to hold back for me, girl Do that thing cause I'ma do my thing, girl, yeah That's my baby, yeah. that's my baby That's my baby, yeah I said, you my baby, yeah. my baby, yeah. my baby yeah. You my baby, yeah. That's my baby, yeah that's my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. Baby, with me, you will not be lonely. No sleepy business, you my one and only. I'ma be your lover when you're home. Put it down, put it down on me, yeah. I miss you a big bliss. Baby, I'm blessed. Now undress, let us progress through my bed. There's all the things you wanna. I'ma hit it like a drama Looking forward to the things I'm gonna discover Baby, I'm your lover, yeah That's my baby, yeah. That's my baby That's my baby, yeah You my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. You my baby, yeah. That's my baby, yeah That's my baby, yeah You my baby, yeah you my baby, baby, baby with me, you wanna be lonely. No sticky business, you my one and only. I'ma be your lover when you're home. Put it down, put it down on me. Baby with me, you wanna be lonely. No sticky business, you my one and only. I'ma be your lover when you're home. Put it down, put it down on me. Baby with me, you wanna be lonely. No sticky business, you my one and only. I'ma be your lover when you're home. Put it down, put it down on me. That was a great performance. Be sure to stick around for another performance from Sean later on. And that, of course, is coming up in a little bit mm. later. But for now, there'll be more of XA Live straight after this. And of course, you're going to come and join come on us over. here. You're going to join Ooh, another us here round of the applause cups. to the amazing show. Thank you so much for having me. It was absolutely amazing. We were all grooving right here. Mm, that's my baby. Yes. Hey, that's my baby. Oh my goodness. But right, let's take it all the way back to where what started out as you first producing and writing music for various artists and then turning into you releasing your own, own music. music. Take us back to that time. What was the inspiration so behind you me, doing that? Honestly, I've always wanted to do music, create music. And in 2016, I got like my first taste of the industry. Mm -hmm. And you know, everyone reaches that moment in their career. It's like, should I continue going? Should I stop? And I was like, you know what? I think this is it for me, man. And I was like, God, if I should continue this, give me a sign. And then like a few weeks later, my buddy called me up and was like, yo, the track is going to air on the radio. I was like, my man, that's the <laughs> sign I ever needed. And then ever since then, I've been pursuing it, giving it my all, my heart, mm. and yeah, just sure. continually going for it. Wow. So, you know, you don't make one specific genre of music. You rather like to dabble in sort of multiple genres. Why, mm. do, you, why do you think it's important that you do that? For me, I don't believe in sticking to one genre as an mm. artist, but I do believe you need to be consistent with your vibe mm. and your message as an artist. Hence why I love dabbling into the different genres. And I feel like we live in a time where you're allowed to actually dabble into hip-hop, mm. pop, r and B. I I mean, a good example would always be Chris Brown. You can put him in whichever genre, but you know his vibe. Yes. And mm. he, he is just the same, so he's just able to flow naturally. Mm. And that's why I'm going for that. Yeah. And speaking about flowing naturally, in 2020, you were so dedicated and into your music that you released up to 100 songs. And I was trying to do the maths right now. I was like, it's what, nine times 12? A hundred. That's like over eight songs per month if you're looking at it that way. And I'm like, what? 
How does that even work? So, wh what is the inspiration behind that releasing 100 song in 2020? So, for me, growing up, I was very bad at communicating how I feel, felt, mm. uh, and music was that avenue for me. So, I learned how to express my emotions, how I feel. I was able to articulate it perfectly into music. Mm. And so, my songs are derived from what I feel, see, and know. So my everyday experiences is what I put into my music. I mean, when I was in varsity, that was the time I used to kick out a song every day. And my friend was like, dude, you insane. Like, that's abnormal. I was like, but every day you're going through something. Mm. You're always experiencing or learning something. So I'm always putting that into my music as well. Sure. Hence where that comes from. That makes sense, right? Now, in mid-November 2022, you had a little project called Thankful. Thank Tell us all about it. So the title thankful was actually derived from a so i saw the hundred songs mm. and more that i release like you know as an artist you don't always get that downloads or that streams or that push and hype that you like yeah, that yeah. behind you so for me i used to release all those songs and i would get one download one stream and it was such a like a uh, downward moment for me mm -hmm. but it's at the same time it was discouraging but i looked at it in a way of if someone took one minute or three minutes out of their day listening to my song that one or two people that actually did it's time that they would never get back, and that's sure. where the title Thankful actually came from, mm. which is paying homage to that. And the way you are explaining the amount of time and effort that you poured into this album, what would you say is the song that resonates with you most on that album? On Thankful, I would definitely say I Am Next. That's the last track, and it's like a testimony for myself. But why that song? Because it's me, sp in the chorus I'm saying, I spoke to God and he told me I am mixed. And that's where that drive, that ambition and that confidence to go after the things you want in life comes from. Mm. Knowing that the man above has my back and yeah, no fear. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Definitely somebody dedicated to the music path, you know. So tell us, you've been sort of elevating yourself from 2016, like you mentioned, to now. What's in the what's in the plans for 2023? Oh, the, we've got quite a few things in the pipeline. <laughs> so definitely performances as well, but we got the video for Give It coming out soon. Mm, uh, I got crossing some fingers and toes. Oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've got some more singles lined up. I don't want to do an EP on another album just yet. I mm. feel like I've dropped a big body of work. Are we having collaborations coming through? Any artists that are mm. featuring? Definitely. I'm not going to say anything just yet, mm. but it is in the pipeline for sure. Mm. Well, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't wait. I'm like, I in just anticipation. Never like mentioning yeah. The but we, we love the exclusives on XE, so I know the people that <laughs> are down there sitting on the edges are like, hmm. But I'm, I'm, I'm really like in awe of your music and just your sound that you are performing right now. And speaking of your sound, you opened up with My Baby on the show. Yes. What was the inspiration behind that song? Because I know you were speaking about earlier that you write about everything that you experience yes, on a daily basis. Yes, definitely. So before I even go into that, I just want to give a shout out to the producer, X Factor, who made the beat. Thank shout you so much for our fire. But the inspiration, obviously, my baby. Come on. Oh. It's about a specific... Girl. I mean, we just we just exited the month of love. Hey, you know, and I'm all about love. You know, spreading love and bringing that vibe wherever you go. Mm. And who, who exactly is the my baby? So it's not someone specific, but rather a compilation of experiences mm. and moments mm. that I put into that one song. So it's yes. all of your love in like one. There's like a combo, not right? Not mine there. only, but you know, the collective of love. Mm. That's for everyone. So to the people that just joining on the conversation right now, they want to find where they can find Shine's music. Is there social media they can follow or you're on iTunes, Spotify? Where can so they you get can find my music on all uh, digital stores that does play and sell music mm -hmm. on Facebook at the Afro Prince on Instagram at Ishan underscore Adams. And yeah. That's me. Hey, <laughs> thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you so much thank for... Thank you so much for Letting us hear your son and know you are still here to perform. So do not go anywhere. Sean is still in the building. Do follow him on social media. But right now, we're taking a quick break. We will be back Just with more break. off for the, be the best youth show in the building. We do have more dancing coming up. As well as Pride Director. Yeah. He goes the name of Wenzel April. So you do not want to miss that. Rather, we'll be back with more of XC after this.